Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, I like to cake. Today I'll be showing you how to make this simple lemon cake. There's lemon in every aspect of this cake. We have a lemon cake filled with a lemon curd, and there's also some lemon mixed into the frosting. Lastly, we'll top it off with some caramelized lemon slices. So let's get started. First, we're going to mix in our dry ingredients. That's two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Sift all of these ingredients together and then mix in one tablespoon of lemon zest. Then set this aside and we'll do the rest of the ingredients. So we're gonna start with one cup of unsalted butter at room temperature and add in one and a half cups of white sugar. And then we're gonna cream the butter and the sugar together. Once those are nicely combined and kind of paste-like, we can add in two large eggs and three large egg yolks. And then we'll beat this together. And you wanna beat this until it's kind of lighter and paler and fluffier. Really get some air in with the eggs. Then we'll add two tablespoons of lemon juice and then mix that in. And finally, we're going to alternate our dry ingredients with our buttermilk, and that's one cup of buttermilk. Once everything has been combined, we can pour it into our prepared baking pans, and I have two seven inch round baking pans that I have buttered and floured. And this is going to create kind of a taller cake. You could also do this with two 8-inch circle baking pans. And we're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 32 to 35 minutes. Um, but with the 7-inch baking pan, it took a little bit longer than that. To check and see whether your cakes are done, you can take a toothpick or a skewer or even just a knife and insert it into the center of your cake. And when you pull it out, it should come out clean. If you have a couple crumbs stuck to it, that's fine. It just shouldn't be wet or sticky. Once we remove these from the oven, we'll let them cool for a few minutes in the baking pan and then remove them from the baking pans to allow them to cool completely. Now we're gonna make some caramelized lemon slices. So first you want to just slice your lemon into rounds, pretty thin, and then cut those in half. You can leave them whole if you want as well, so they're full circles. And then we're going to lay these out in a single layer in a nonstick pan. I like to use nonstick when I'm doing caramel kinds of things because it just helps a little bit. And then sprinkle some sugar on top of each of the slices. And then we're going to flip these over and then sprinkle sugar again on the other side of the slices. So then we're going to turn the stove on and I'm starting with a medium high heat. We want all of the sugar to melt. And then once it starts getting a bit caramelized, you'll see it's a little bit brown on the sides. It is harder to see in a nonstick pan, so you have to look kind of closely. You could use a light colored pan if you want so that you can see the color better. But anyway, once we see a little bit of color on the edges, the sugar starting to caramelize, go ahead and turn the heat down because we don't want the sugar to burn, but we want to get even caramelization across the whole pan on all of our lemon slices. So once that's looking like most of the sugar is caramelized on one side and the lemons are caramelized on one side, we're gonna go ahead and flip those over. I find using a rubber spatula helps with this. And we're gonna caramelize the other side now. Once the other side is all caramelized, we can go ahead and turn the heat off. Now these lemons do still kind of have a bite to them. If you want them to be a lot softer all the way through, Use a lower heat from start to finish. It'll just take longer for the sugar to caramelize, but you will end up with a softer lemon in the end. So now that our lemons are done, we'll go ahead and remove them and put them onto a plate. 
and then we'll assemble our cake and put these on top. I would actually recommend icing the whole cake and getting it ready for the lemons, then make the lemons and place them on top. It's just a lot easier to work with before the caramel hardens. Now it's time to assemble our cakes. So as always, we'll put a little bit of frosting down in the middle of the cake board and then place your first cake layer on top. Now from the cakes that we baked earlier, I have cut each of these layers in half. So I end up with four layers. So we'll place the first layer down and then we're gonna make kind of a dam, just a wall to seal the filling in with our frosting. And what I'm using here is an Italian meringue frosting and I've mixed a little bit of the lemon curd into it. It doesn't add a strong lemony flavor um, because if you mix too much lemon curd into it, then the frosting loses its structure, but it just gives a nice cohesive lemon flavor to the whole cake. So once we've made the wall, go ahead and put the lemon curd in the middle and then we'll cover that with our next cake layer and repeat this process. I am using a homemade lemon curd and if you'd like the recipe for that, I actually have another video. So follow the link in the description and you can see how I made the lemon curd, but you can also use store-bought. You don't have to make it from scratch. And we're just gonna repeat this process until we've used up all of our cake layers. Once our cake is stacked, we're going to coat this in frosting. And again, I'm using the same Italian meringue buttercream. And I'm actually not going to crumb coat it this time. I'm just gonna do a thicker layer of the frosting. So I'm gonna pipe it out pretty thick. And then we'll just very gently spread it around. So once it's all smoothed out using some flat edge tool like a bench scraper or an icing smoother, we're gonna pipe just some small swirls on top. So I have a Wilton 1M star piping tip and I've put the same Italian meringue buttercream in my piping bag and we're just gonna pipe little swirls. To make it even, I like to pipe it in this pattern. So I do kind of, um, like if you were to imagine a plus or an X, we're just piping in the corners of that plus. And then we use that as markers to get the other swirls evenly spread out in between. Okay, once the swirls are piped out, we can add our caramelized lemon slices on top of the swirls. And like I mentioned before, it does help to do the lemon slices after you've made the swirls so that you can work with the lemon slices before the caramel cools too much. But you also don't want to be putting hot or warm lemon slices on top of the frosting at this point because it'll probably melt the frosting. So you kind of have to time it right so that you have room temperature lemon slices that haven't completely cooled and hardened yet and then place them on top of these swirls. So that's it for our decoration. It's pretty simple. It looks really nice and gourmet with these caramelized lemon slices. And this is a really nice lemony cake. It's not overly powered with the lemon. It's kind of subtle in the cake with a really nice sharp lemon curd that's distributed between the layers. And it's really just one of my favorite lemon cakes to make. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you make this cake or use any of the techniques, I would love to see your pictures and share them in one of my next videos. You can send them to me at ilike2cake.baker at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.